I'm Shalair with Mediander's Comedy Spotlight, where I will highlight the funniest people who should have TV shows, in my opinion. And you ask, who are you? Well, I'll tell you. I am And that's why I should highlight the funniest people who should have shows. So let's get into it. The Twitter. Certainly. <laughs> I picked out my hair extra big. So it's I so <laughs> cool. I, I was saying that's kind of like what my hair looked like when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I know that, you know, I'm going to get called a sellout and everything else. So oh, at least my I God. Can show that Don't I do that. <laughs> She's very <have> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay. So as I said, I saw the rant, and I and at first I was like, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. but then in context, I was just kind of like, well, he's upset, and I don't know. Yeah. I, I think I've said cracker once or twice <laughs> on Twitter, you know. So I'm like, give him a pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give him a pass. <laughs> These cracker ass crackers. No, but I, I have crack, said. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. The only problem I did have with mm -hmm. it was I felt like your friends, like uh, Jim Norton, who I, I love, I think yeah, he's really foreign, uh, really funny, um, like a lot of them immediately, they didn't question anything about that night. They just was like, they were like, he was attacked. He was attacked. And so he was attacked. So that's what he did. And I feel like if you were not white, it would have been more of a, uh, allegedly attacked or you know, those people wouldn't have jumped so quickly to I be did, on your side. I heard a lot of allegedly attacked, though, okay. from like the media. They were like, oh, he supposedly or he said allegedly, things like that. And it did happen. I, I, right. mean, I, I guess all I have is my word, but <laughs> I've been pretty honest over the years with things and uh, pretty open. And yeah, that did happen. As far as my friends go... They're friends, you know. I don't. So, I don't think anybody is in a situation where something happens and your friends, unless you have a reputation for being right. a bullshit artist, uh, your friends will come to your your side and say, "Yeah, I, I have confidence in this guy and that this happened this way." So I think that's what happened uh, as far as uh, that's concerned with with friends. This woman uh, never came forward. <laughs> no, she didn't. I I don't know. It was very late at night. I think she was either a stripper at uh, so she the doesn't strip go to club jail. that was there or. Or just she just has she's not in this circle of entertainment and has no idea what. You know, or if there was any fault in what I feel I did, it was being angry, tweeting about the incident, and then trying to throw in some social commentary on top of it. <laughs> right. Those should have been kept separate. Right. So I think that really kind of made it worse. It right. Compounded the problem. Well, because my boss, nice little Jewish woman, um, she didn't know anything about you. And then she went and researched. Oh boy! And was like, I read his rant, Shalair. <laughs> <laughs> he said savages, and you know, mm. and she was just like, I don't know, you know. And so, what do you say for that? Like when people are like, Well, he said they, and he was talking about the every single person. What do you say to that? I say I, I and people really. I don't know how you don't pick this up just from my personal life if you know me, but uh, I really don't group. I don't make it a group thing. Uh, I was talking about that evening, that woman, that situation. Right. She reacted uh, immediately with violence. Right. So I'm like, th that's an issue. It that seems to be a problem. Right. There yeah. does seem to be an issue with that. M me saying it, and perhaps some of the terminology I used and being tied with the anger of having just been assaulted, yeah, it came out very uh, venomous. Okay. Um, you know, and that's just, I think that's just part of human nature. Yeah. I was genuinely, genuinely pissed. <laughs> and <laughs> So earlier this week... <laughs> <laughs> You know, a little hashtag came up, and you said, fuck Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, too, have said that, okay, let's say this. If I, I'm sitting here having this interview with you, mm -hmm. and some black dude came in here and started beating my ass. Get the, get out my face. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? 
and oh, then man. you shot him. Oh, jeez. No one's going to care that he was beating my ass. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. That wouldn't They're be the, that wouldn't be the headline. They're only going to care that you shot him. And the Black Lives Matter hashtag would be attached to Of course. That. I wrote that. I think I tweeted that right after Seth Rogen tweeted, uh, fuck Ben Carson. Okay. Like, like, so it was kind of like, eh. And, and the hashtag Black Lives Matter has just been tied to so many things now. It's... You know, in in its purest form, Black Lives Matter uh, is a good, noble thing. Right. Do they? Of course they do. Right. Of course they do. Right. Of course they do. Right. Uh, uh, what it's been twisted and turned into seems to be um, a a condemnation of the police and this. Let's like you were talking just before about my friends coming to my aid and saying, "Hey, you know." Anthony did this, but, you know, he, he, it's cool, it's this. Like, that seems to be what Black Lives Matter does whenever there's um, a police-black uh, interaction that right. ends with the, the black guy getting killed or injured or what have you. It's an instant jump to, well, he's the good guy in this, the cops are the bad guy, let's run with that. Right. And I, I think some of the some of the dialogue is, is kind of... Um, it, it criticizes the police to the point of, I think, where violence is incited upon upon the police. He's a white kid, I uh, and it, it boosts and, and martyrizes right. some people that really don't deserve it. Really don't. And then there's a, a man like Benjamin Carson, who is he's done amazing things yeah. with his life and, and his career, and he's chastised for his like right-leaning ideology oh well it's you, crazy to well me. but that's how a lot of this happened well because in the black community you have to think with the group and the group is stupid at most of the time. <laughs> most of the time the group is stupid and there's no logic from one day to the other about how to feel about something and so in that um instance Ben Carson says, I think we're missing the awe, and he means all black lives matter. Yeah. Because, like, there was a cop, I think, earlier this week. Yeah, a black killed. cop in Memphis. You're right, and we don't hear anything about that. No, and I said that. I said black lives matter. Oh, wait, it's a cop. Hmm. Right. Like, like now what? That's a conundrum. It shouldn't be a conundrum. Right. It should be there's a black life. Right. He's now dead. That should matter. It's the, it's right in there. Black lives matter. Right. And I get in all kinds of jams for being very statistical on Twitter. I like backing up what I say with statistics and facts and yeah, examples. Do, those, do you get those emailed to you? Because you're always like... <laughs> uh, it's not that... You know what? It's The odd thing is, it's not that hard to find. Yes, if you're you, talking about justifiable homicide on the part of a law officer, that different agencies are reporting things differently uh, because their criteria is different. If, if something is deemed justifiable by one agency, it might not be deemed justifiable by another or vice versa. So you get the, uh, the little blip in the numbers there. Like you could find actual FBI stats, criminal stats from the uh, government. And, and, you know, those are pretty accurate. And uh, whenever I put those on there, I'm, you know, I'm wrong, or I'm an asshole again for saying mm -hmm. it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the final one, part three, where Anthony Cumia answers, is he a racist? Would he invite me to his house? And we do our own version of Howard Stern and Robin Quivers. You don't want to miss it. Come back, Mediander.com, Comedy Spotlight.